I want to start with the security piece of this because, again, in this past quarter, you saw you saw saw, saw strong uh, strong gains there. As we continuously live in this world of IoT, Internet of Things, that is affecting everything from the gadgets that consumers engage with to heavy machinery and manufacturing, where are you seeing that growth for security? We're seeing a very strong growth across all of our security solutions, uh, starting with preventing denial of service attacks when uh, you create bot armies with those Internet of Things to attack a site. Uh, also, uh, the capabilities to stop takeovers of websites or corruption or theft of content on the site. Uh, also, bot management. You know, people don't think about it, but today, most transactions on the web are no longer human. They're actually bots. Uh, can be these IoT devices being hijacked to do bad, bad things, like take over your bank account and uh, steal your money. So. Uh, we have products that stop that from happening, and uh, they've been one of our fastest growing you know, product lines in a long time. So all of that is contributing to a very strong growth of our security business. Now, I realize you're mo more focused, Akamai is more focused on cloud security and security of companies, but when you see a situation unfolding like the one with, for example, Jeff Bezos and AMI and security issues there, does it have any kind of impact on the demand you see for your services? Yes, yeah, security is impacting everybody, both as individuals, but uh, also enterprises. Now, we sell our services to enterprises, and they're very concerned with data breaches, you know, the kinds of things that you referenced. Uh, they're concerned with theft of, uh, you know, property, uh, funds, you know, bank accounts being taken over, goods on a commerce site. Uh, and so that's helped create a lot of demand for our, our capabilities, which are pretty unique in being able to stop these kinds of activities. Tom, uh, I want to talk about content delivery networks uh, along your bread and butter and, and, and kind of core business. There's some expectation that the growth there slows throughout 2019. There are some tough comps also. Um, how much does Fortnite play into that? Because that was a big big phenomenon last year, continues to be strong, but now I guess it's sort of baked in. Are, are things like that, uh, in trends in the gaming business, making these, these comps tough in CDN? Uh, yeah. Now, it's always hard to predict what's going to become hot in the year ahead. Uh, a lot of our traffic is driven by gaming downloads and video, uh, especially OTT. And as we look at the year ahead, you know, we think we're going to have a, a good year but we really see the growth picking up late in the year going into 2020 as uh, more OTT uh, offers come online, uh, you know, and that helps drive growth as more people watch those uh, OTT offerings and at higher quality levels. And traffic, of course, this drives revenue. Tom, does something like Apex Legends, which just came out a week and a half ago, is seen as being potentially a, another sort of Fortnite? Would that have an impact uh, on how you see the year playing out if that continues to grow? Yeah, sure. As, as a game gets hot and you get you know many, many millions of people downloading it, that's a really large uh, piece of software that they're downloading, and that drives traffic. Uh, you know, and we do project traffic to grow substantially on the Akamai platform this year because we, we carry so much of the content that's being downloaded. Hey, Tom, um, everybody is talking about U.S. growth versus international growth. For you, I think revenue, uh, U.S. revenue up two versus international 23x, 4x. I mean, are you seeing any slowdown at all in uh, spending uh, from clients uh, either in Asia or Europe? Uh, no, we're seeing very strong growth, especially in Asia. It's our fastest growing geography. Uh, and I think we expect that to continue in 2019. You know, there's a lot of uh, folks online there. A lot of the world's biggest companies are there. People don't think about it, but China has some of the world's largest companies now, bigger than the U.S. companies. And so we're seeing strong growth throughout Asia. Tom, it's it's... This time last year, we were talking about the repeal of net neutrality here in the U.S. You've got now two quarters, I would imagine, under your belt since those uh, since that rollback went into place. Have you seen any kind of impact or change on business from an Akamai standpoint? Uh, I would say no real impact. Uh, you know, the repeal of the rules shifted the balance of power a little bit from uh, some of the big 
tech companies, to some of the big carriers, but uh, no impact to our business. You know, we work with the carriers and the big tech companies.